Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is how to use the vocal effects in BandLab. When you record with a microphone, you can end up with unwanted background noise that is noticeable between the words of your song. But one way to quickly remove background noise is to use a noise gate. At the bottom left of the vocal track record screen, tap the mixer settings icon. To the left of the track name, tap the S to solo your vocal track. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the mixer settings icon again. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on FX. Then tap on the plus icon in the top right corner of the None Image icon. If a white pop-up message box appears, tap on Edit. At the top right of the screen, tap the plus icon. Drag your finger across the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on the Noise Gate. Use the Play icon at the bottom of the screen to play your vocal track and move the green dot on the green line to the right of the word Threshold, slowly to the left until you hear the background noise. Then move the green dot back to the right until the background noise between the words is gone. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows came you out of the shadows. When most people sing, they sing some words louder and some words quieter than others, making some words too loud and some words too quiet in the song mix. But one way to make louder words quieter and quieter words louder is to use a compressor. At the top right of the screen, tap the plus icon. Drag your finger across the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Dynamics tab. Tap on the BL1176 compressor. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows. Getting the right microphone for your voice can be difficult and expensive. Some microphones can make your voice sound murky and bassy and other microphones can make your voice sound thin and tinny. But one way to improve your vocal recording and even make it easier to mix is to use a graphic equalizer. At the top right of the screen, tap the plus icon. Drag your finger across the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the tone tab. Tap on the graphic EQ. If your vocals sound too bassy, move the green dots on the green lines to the right of 100Hz, 200Hz and 400Hz by dragging the dots to the left. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose Then out of the shadows If your vocals sound too tinny, Move the green dots on the green lines to the right of 3.2 kHz and 6.4 kHz by dragging the dots to the left. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose Then out of the shadows To help your vocals stand out in the song mix Move the green dots on the green lines to the right of 800 Hz and 1.600 Hz by dragging the dots to the right. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Some microphones can make the letter S in the words of your song stick out like a hissing snake. But one way to make the letter S sound less like a hissing snake is to use a de -esser. At the top right of the screen, tap the plus icon. 
Drag your finger across the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Dynamics tab. Tap on the de -esser. Move the green dot on the green line to the right of the word Threshold to adjust the amount of the S sound that is removed. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows. Once you've created your own vocal effects setup in BandLab, you can save it and use it in other songs. At the top right of the screen, tap the three dots. Tap on Save As on the pop-up menu. Type in the name for your custom FX setup. Then tap Save. Then at the top left of the screen, tap the back icon. Notice that your custom FX setup is now in the vocal effects list and you can select it in all your songs. Finally, at the bottom of the screen, tap the Mixer Settings icon. To the left of the track name, tap the S to turn off solo for your vocal track. I came from If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.